What's up you guys, it's Margo. I'm so happy you clicked on this video because it's been something I've been working on and hinting at, so I'm so happy it's finally here. Here is my video of trying seven different style aesthetics throughout the week. I had so much fun learning about different aesthetics and putting these looks together, and I hope you love this. Also, shout out Hannah Maloche for inspiring the style of this video she's been doing a bunch of these and they're epic so this video is in partnership with thread up they are the largest online thrift store they have up to 90 percent discounts and it's really fun to shop your favorite brands i had so much fun shopping on thread up which you'll see in this video you guys know i love thrifting and thread up makes it really fun because you don't have to leave the comfort of your own home it's definitely safer in this covid world and it's kind of like a little treasure hunt. You can go on there, see what's available. Thread up triple checks everything for the quality so you know it's gonna be good when it comes. If you guys want 30% off of your first order at Thread Up, you can go to the link in the description and use my code Margo. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so step number one, obviously, is figuring out what different aesthetics we're going for. Of course, this whole video is just based on the idea that I dress very differently every day, but I wouldn't necessarily know what to call those, so we're gonna do our research first. Is this a quiz? Okay, we have a quiz. How would others describe you? I'm gonna say friendly and energetic. Is there a color that you like the most? Um, I will say white or light colors. What types of clothes do you like to wear? Wait, this is only gonna give me one answer. I need all of the answers. Soft, angelic, e-girl, hippie, skater. So I feel like one of them would be like, it's so hard. Okay, one of them we're just gonna call the Hailey Bieber. I don't know what you would call her style. It's like model off duty, kind of athleisure, but casual, but like very put together. We're just gonna call it the Hailey Bieber. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. I believe there is a aesthetic called cottage girl, but let me do some research. Core, cottage core. Okay, that's our next aesthetic. Next aesthetic we're gonna go for is the Devin Lee Carlson. I know this is another name, but um, I don't know how I would describe her style, but she's dope, so. Okay, for number four. I feel like we have to do the granola look. I'm talking like oversized flannels, baggy jeans. Okay, I have to pay an homage to my past and we're gonna do a brandy girl day. It's a lot of basic pieces that kind of have like a, I could have bought this at the thrift store, but it was actually $80 vibe to it. We have to do e-girl, I think. It's, it's gonna feel like your grandmother dressing up as a teenager, but the effort has to be there. I'm not intimidated by e-girls. Okay, um, I want to do athleisure, but I don't know if that's too close to Hailey Bieber, but we're gonna just, we're just gonna do it. We're gonna do like the girl who you don't know if she's coming to and from Pilates or Whole Foods. That is gonna be the vibe of the last one. Now that we have our list of seven days and our different aesthetics, we're gonna go through each one, find some inspo on Pinterest, and then I'll show you what search terms I'm gonna be using on ThreadUp. First up, we are starting with Miss Haley Beeves. Definitely the oversized leather jacket, I feel like has to be in it. She also wears a lot of oversized kind of buttony things. She also has a lot of really cool white boots. So I think we have to do the white shoe. She's always wearing black sunglasses. I feel like she kind of owns the whole gold hoop look. So got to incorporate that. So now that I know that vibe, I'm just going to show you some of the search terms I'm going to be using on ThreadUp. First of all, black sunglasses. I love the brand Diff. Oh, I really like these. Next search term I'm using is leather jacket. Um, I feel like I just want it to be big. Next search term is gonna be jeans. We are going to move to the next category, which is cottage core. 
so this is a very soft look definitely dresses frilly socks cardigans florals for sure okay i'm sure there's there's 31,000 results so we have a lot of options okay so let's refine this a bit casual mini and midi maybe next is devonley carlson okay so sh i love her looks they're all very kind of like wonky but they work somehow she loves the cowboy boot look um she wears lots of colors really fun sunglasses bucket hats red lips unfortunately don't have the dark hair so maybe i can put my hair up into a bucket hat so it kind of covers mini skirt oh i really like this pink one gotta find a good graphic tee definitely gonna have to take some time to go through these granola fashion okay i want real granola vibes i have an idea in my head and none of these are it so i'm just gonna follow through with the, the vision of my head mm, okay we're getting there next up we have the brandy melville girl so i'm just gonna search brandy melville i don't even know what i would search on pinterest i kind of feel like it's the emma chamberlain like i don't know brandy girl outfits yeah okay so definitely these skirts with the little slit in them the cross dresses okay little tank tops floral tank top white sneaker yeah, 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 yeah. Ellen DeGeneres has sneakers. The plaid skirt is big. Yas. Yup, 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 yup. Next up, we have E Girl. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make this as true to something I would actually wear as possible. <laughs> Perfect. I'm not sure I understand. Um, don't even know what to search for this. Stripes. You know what? Beanie. Beanie is where we're gonna start. Lastly, we have probably the easiest one, which is athleisure. Um, and I'm just gonna look at what Haley wears for athleisure. So we're gonna look at biker shorts, legging. Lots of results for this. The next thing I'm gonna search will be probably hoodie, baseball cap like this a lot i'm gonna finish shopping for all this stuff and i'm really excited to show you guys what i get once it comes in the mail so i have three thread up packages that came in the mail that i want to open with you guys all of the packages are really sustainable what i like i kind of took a peek in but they don't use plastic packaging over all of the items it's just these nice little papers I wanted to do a really quick haul. It's not gonna be try on because you'll see how I style the outfits, but I just wanna show you which pieces came from ThreadUp. I'm just gonna run through this quickly because you're gonna see them all on me in a little bit. Okay, this is totally out of my comfort zone, but I got this black cardigan with these crazy fur like bracelet things attached. I would love to wear that out in like New York City or something. I think it'd be dope. Next up, I was so excited when I found these. These are one teaspoon jeans. I was just looking for some wide leg jeans. Unfortunately, they're not as long as I would like, but I knew that when I was ordering it. They actually have pretty good sizing information on the website. Next up, I was looking for some white pumps and I found them. These are actually like a little bit gray, but they're brand spankin' new and they're the brand Cole Haan. Next up, I got this black cap. It's actually pretty small on me. Like it just doesn't go as far down as I would like it to. So I might give this to a friend with a smaller head, but it'll be good for my styling video. Next up, I got these sunglasses, which I think are my new favorite sunglasses and I love them. Next up, I got this dress. It was literally like five or six dollars, so I don't regret it, but I'm gonna need to, <laughs> to figure it out because it's just not my style. And I knew that when I was ordering it, but I was like, I just can't resist. Next up, this is my mom's favorite thing that I got. I got this beautiful plaid skirt. It fits me perfectly, which I'm so happy about. It's lined and I'm really excited to wear this. I'll just do all the skirts because I'm really into skirts right now and I found some really good ones. This is one of my favorite pieces. It is from La Perla, which is a really amazing, I wanna say Italian clothing line. They do a lot of beautiful lingerie, but 
here we are with this nice yellow skirt and it's really stretchy and comfy. Next up, I'm really excited about this. I don't know if it's gonna fit in like the styling video um, the way that I thought it would, but this is a little terry cloth Ralph Lauren skirt. It's really comfortable. It's a little big on me, but it has the drawstring, but Pro tip, Ralph Lauren has amazing stuff if you use that as a search term. The last skirt I have to show you, you can guess how I'm gonna style this for what category. Ah, this is from Victoria's Secret. It is tiny when I'm wearing it, so it's definitely something that like, realistically, I'd only be able to wear to little like pool or beach parties or something, which I don't foresee happening very soon, but it's amazing. It's like the swim material. Next up, another accessory. I got this cute little black bucket hat, really cute. I got the most incredible shoes, which are not very comfortable, but it's fine. This is like, it's worth it. Look how cute! These are so hot and not very comfortable, but sometimes it's worth it. I'm just in love and I'm never getting rid of these, mark my words. We've got this gorgeous little number from Dolce & Gabbana. This was definitely all done by hand. It's just absolutely stunning. But yeah, Dolce & Gabbana, surprisingly affordable. You guys can probably tell that the shoes and skirts were like my winning pieces in this haul. So hi, Juicy Couture, little clog wedgy type things. This might be my favorite thing from the haul just because I've been looking for something exactly like this for probably two years now and this is it. These gorgeous black boots, they zip up the entire way. Absolutely stunning. Next up, we have this little belt, silver belt chain, which normally I would say I wouldn't wear this, but I'm kind of into it and I feel like I'm just gonna start throwing it into outfits last minute because it's a vibe. Next thing, I got this little cute tank top, very Y2K vibes. I got a little lifeguard bikini top, which was extra small, I did not think it would fit me. It doesn't, but I squeezed in for the sake of this video. And then I also got sweatpants, but as you can tell here, I only have the legs left because I chopped them off so they're shorts. I just wear sweat shorts all the time now, so I couldn't resist. The last thing in this haul is I got this amazing black oversized blazer. You can't really search oversized because they just do it by size, but I just got a size that I know would be large on me. You got through the haul part, you got through the shopping part, the introduction. Now is the moment you've all been waiting for. Seven days of wearing different aesthetics. Enjoy. For my first look, I paired an oversized blazer with the one teaspoon jeans, which were originally $167, and I got them on ThreadUp for $44, and I accessorized according to Haley's go-tos. For this country cottage look, I used items from my wardrobe, including this midi dress and the large hat. I had so much fun putting this outfit together, as I'm sure you can tell. I paired the Victoria's Secret skirt with the Italian pumps, and I accessorized with some stuff I had lying around. This outfit was a bit tricky for me since it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I raided my closet and pulled this look together. For this brandy look, I paired the plaid skirt with the juicy wedges, which were originally $228 and I got for $49 on ThreadUp. This was another tricky look, but I feel like you can never go wrong with some knee-high black boots, which were originally $149 and I got for $54 on ThreadUp. Finally, here's my athleisure look. I went for a more summery vibe and I paired the look with my sneakers and a little backpack. Mama's wondering why he grades a I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it and I was so excited to share it with you guys. Don't forget to click the link in the description and use my code MARGO for 30% off of your order. Comment below which one your favorite look was. I know which one mine was, so you'll see in the comments which ones I'm reacting to. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video.